Today on Robert Knows, we learn about what actually goes on in a hospital. What is an emergency room? What are x-rays? And what is an operating room used for? Find out in the latest episode of Robert Knows. Robert, you wanted to tell us about all the things that happen in a hospital. That's right, Lisa. A hospital provides care for all types of medical emergencies. These can include emergency cases that arrive by ambulance or by helicopter. However, you can drive to the emergency room by yourself or take a taxi. What is an emergency room? In an emergency room, the doctors and nurses are prepared for every type of emergency. These can include injuries that people get playing sports or doing DIY projects at home or in road traffic accidents. The emergency room is open 24-7. Wow, even at night? Yes, it is open all day and all night. After all, accidents and emergencies can happen at any time. In the emergency room, there is always a doctor on duty who can decide quickly how the patient must be treated. And does the doctor always know what to do, even if you have broken something? No, he doesn't know that, but he does know how to find out. X-rays can be used. For example, to show a broken bone, taking an X-ray is like taking a photograph inside the body. It is a technique that uses radiation so that we can see inside the body. It allows us to take pictures of the organs and bones and see if a bone is broken. And it doesn't hurt at all. A fantastic invention that was made more than 100 years ago by a German scientist called Conrad Röntgen. That is correct. Well done, Mr. Parker. William Conrad Röntgen discovered x-rays in 1895. This made it possible for the first time to take pictures showing the inside ah. of the human body. With the help of an x-ray image, the doctor can see clearly if something is broken. If so, he must decide whether a plaster cast is required or if it is sufficient to bandage the leg. We would like to visit our grandpa, Bruno Parker. Oh, he will be delighted to see you. You can take the elevator to the second floor. You'll find your grandpa in room 203. The hospital is so big. There is so much going on here. There are many special departments for different types of medical care. For example, there is the children's clinic, which specializes in caring for young patients. The treatment rooms here are so much more colorful and cheerful. The doctors are specially trained to deal with children and to treat childhood illnesses. The beds here are also much smaller than in the adult rooms. It's his labor ward first floor here. I know that one. That's where babies are born. You are quite right. And there is even more. A specialist eye care department, for example. The doctors here look after the eyes and everything connected with them. Then there is the surgical department, where all operations are carried out in an operating room. What does that mean? Surgical interventions in the human body are usually performed in what is called an operating room. Hygiene is very important in this type of room. That means that the room and everything in it must be very carefully cleaned before each operation. This also means that all the instruments are sterilized to remove all bacteria and germs. Once everything is ready for the operation, the patient is collected in their bed and rolled into the operating room. The patient doesn't notice anything because he or she is under anesthetic. What is anesthetic? An anesthetic is an artificial substance that puts people into a deep sleep. A specialist called an anesthetist gives the patients medication that puts them to sleep so that they don't feel anything during the operation. They only wake up when they stop receiving this medication. So, here we are. Hi, Grandpa. How are you feeling? Oh, it's nice to see you. And look at the lovely flowers you brought. And we also brought a cake. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, my, I'm delighted. Wow, 
Grandpa Bruno has a TV on his bed. That's awesome. Hello, everyone. I'm just bringing in another patient. Yet we'll be spending a couple of days here for observation. Hello. So, I would love a TV like this on my bed. Do they only have these in the hospital? Or can you get one like this for a children's bedroom? <laughs> well, have you figured out what the next episode might be about? Bye. See you soon.